Now, it's the first team to shout out and make your caveman noises, okay? Today is Cro-Magnon Day and we're dressing up as caveman. <laughs> it's Cro-Magnon Day and we're dressed up as caveman and hominid because we've been learning about that in social studies. And we're switching classrooms and we're drawing cave paintings of things they hunted and what they did. The study of things that earlier people left behind. It's like Cro-Magnon Day, so we're putting together pieces of puzzle like archaeologists do if they find something and if they don't have the whole thing, they have to recreate it. We just do like rotations and stuff like that. Um, we're just acting like we're archaeologists and we're looking for bones and we're trying to um, guess what the bones came from. And we're just looking and we're looking for bones and different kinds of rocks and tools that the early people use, like Homo habilis and Homo erectus. And we're going to try to find out and guess what the tools were and what they were used for. We found um, a bone and we think it's from a bird and we've also found a tool and we think it was used for like a hammer. The human race. We've learned that Homo erectus have, were the first to make fire and that Homo sapiens were the uh, uh, wisest and that their name means wise person and Homo sapiens were the first one to learn how to communicate. Also, I think it was Homo habilis were the first to rock upright. The result of your actions. We learned about authors of Pisacin and Homo habilis and Homo erectus. They're like the early man, and like um, they're like authors of Pisacin. They were the first people to be on Earth. And, um, the Homo habilis were like the handyman and then Homo erectus built fire.